Welcome, everyone, to This is Jackson. I'm your host, Barry Rosenzweig, from the Jackson School District. Well, have you ever said to yourself, I want to see a wonderful play, but it's in New York. Oh, I got to take the bus. I got to take my car to the bus, to the train. I got to get to the city. I got to walk a half a mile. I just, it's too much. Going to New York is expensive. Taking the time to take your car, drive to whatever other means you are going to do to get to the city, even if you took your car. The point is, you've got Broadway right in your own backyard here in Jackson. So today, this is Jackson, is featuring our Jackson Liberty High School Drama Club our performers who are putting on a wonderful play coming up in November, and we'll find out the details as we go through today's show, but we're featuring our drama club, the drama players of Jackson Liberty High School, and we have our show this year in the fall is A Christmas Carol. Am I correct? Yes. I am correct, thank goodness I'm correct. But we are going to talk to a few people. We're going to interview some of the uh, people who are performing in it in front of the lights and behind the scenes as well. As you know, in theater, it's not just people up front, but if you don't have the folks behind the scenes, uh, we don't have a play. So come with me. Come with me. I'm on my way to the stars. There you are. Kimmy. <laughs> And Julie, there they are. That's Julie. Here's Kimmy right next to me. And they are working behind the scenes. And you know what? We mentioned it before the show even started. You have such an important role. It is phenomenal. Wait till you hear what they do, because no one comes out front without them. So who wants to start? Kimmy can start. <laughs> Kimmy can start. There, we voted for that. OK, Kimmy, tell us your job with the drama performance? So I do costumes, yep. and I've been doing this for two years. Wow. And I am backstage. We pick out costumes and try them on the actors and then make alterations as we need them. And you make the actual alterations? Yes. You know how to sew and use a machine or by hand, I guess, hand stitching? Yes can do all of that? Yes. I think I'm in love. <laughs> I have needed a button on some of my garments for about 25 years, and I'm not good at sewing. Could you help me? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. No, Kimmy, that was, a, that was a perfect answer. And Julie, your job as well is? Well, I go through the closet and I make sure that all the clothes that we pick out for our actors are suitable for the theme that we have in the time period. And we need to make sure everything fits. Everyone has something to wear on stage and they don't go out wearing nothing. And, you know, without us, they can't be properly clothed on the stage. So you work directly along with Miss Mathias. Who, uh, Nicole Mathias is not only a teacher here, at Jackson Liberty, but she is the uh, supervisor, the overall adult who runs the drama club. And she'll be with us soon today, too, on the show. So your, your job, do you have to go through the script and make sure that everything fits not only the, the period of time that the play is taking place, but of course, again, the, pr the appropriate costume for that particular scene and all that. So do you go through a script or anything? Yes. We do, yes, we do go through the whole script, and we make sure that if they have a quick change, then when they have something underneath that they can quickly change into for their next scene. Well, it's usually the old, the old theater used to be, even for guys, black pants or black shorts, you know, like a Bermuda-type short, and also a black T-shirt, and you could work from that to do anything. Yes. Still basically the same, male or female. Yeah. Yes, everybody Super. wears black underneath. Yep. It always works. It's been that way forever in theater. So, uh, but I love the fact that you have the responsibilities to make so many decisions. And I presume 
that your decisions are pretty much what it is. No one really argues because you're really that good at it. Yes? Yes, yes. Um, it gets... It gets very hard at times when we pick out clothes and they don't fit and we're like, mm. what are we going to do? But we basically call the shots in uh, the costuming, like, you're going to wear this and right. that's that's it, yeah. And nobody argues. The leads are not leads, chorus people, whatever. Everybody says, okay, and that's it. So let me ask you now. You said, Kimmy, you've been doing this two years now. Yeah. What year are you in in the high school? I'm a sophomore. Oh, so you started as a freshman. Yes. What a great way to get to meet people, be a part of an organization. Think about that, our, our viewing audience. What a wonderful way to become part of a great team of people working for a great purpose. You guys are wonderful. And Julie, last question. How about you? How many years are you working with the Drama Club? Same as Kimmy. I'm a sophomore. I started last year oh, in the spring. Yep. You guys are terrific. And all of your skills with sewing and using the machines as well as hand sewing if you need it, and your skills also knowing about fashion are really coming to help you at this stage. Thank you so much for being with me. Kimmy and Julie backstage doing costumes at this year's Jackson Liberty High School Fall Drama, A Christmas Carol. I have the privilege of being with two members of the cast that are actually in front of the lights. And we have, to my far right, we've got, we've got Katie. Now, Katie, oh my goodness, should I wish you get well soon, or does it have to do with your part in the play, Katie? I'm Tiny Tim in A Christmas Carol. And Tiny Tim did have the... A crutch. a crutch, yes. Right. So you have a disability, and of course, uh, Scrooge finally uh, takes care of Tiny Tim to help Tiny Tim be well again. Right? Correct. Excellent. And uh, we have Allie as well. And Allie, you are, what is your role in our play coming up? I am the ensemble, so like I'm basically a villager from the um, 1800s. So, like that's being um, pretty much how the um, the play set out. So it's like an older kind of show. So it's pretty cool. Wow, and so you're you could you're you're kind of a a general you know person who does everything, or whatever is asked of you, singing, dancing, everything. Right. So I'm also in a scene where we're gonna be having like a little party scene where they're singing, dancing, um, like group dancing, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going right. to be like one of our biggest scenes in the show. So I'm, I think everybody's involved with that. So it's going to be pretty cool. Very excited. And you mentioned before we even came on camera, Allie and I, uh, we were talking, Katie, Allie, and myself, and she was mentioning that there are going to be some uh, actual young children in the play, which of course that's pretty appropriate too. Right. So like, it's going to add, like, happiness and, um, and joy to the people, like, the audience who are watching. Because they're sure. going to see the like, little kids and be like, oh, my gosh, it's actually, like, going to be adding more than there ever was before. Because we actually have kids now, and it's going to be more exciting. So it's really cool. I think that's fun. I think that's really cool. Now, <laughs> taking the part of Tiny Tim, yeah. um, you applied for it. I guess you interviewed for that part. And, or didn't you? I mean, when... Actually, yeah. believe it or not, I was actually trying for a Ghost of Christmas Future. Then I was told that Ghost of Christmas Future was tall. <laughs> so, I went for, so I went for a Ghost of Christmas Past. But they picked me for a Tiny Tim because I look like a kid. Well, you know what? It's okay. I oh, don't fall down. Stay, stay. All right, as long as you've got your cane there to help you. But you know what? It's wonderful that you have a very specialized part, and you're the right person for it. You know, you're not a very large, big, big person, so it wouldn't be appropriate. I think it's great. And how have you grown into the part so far? I mean, I, I just. I just do the acting. It's fun. And it's just, 
it's fun. I don't really see it as as growing into the play. I see it as being transplanted into another world and being that person. Wow. Now that's what it takes to be a true actor and actress, to be able to be it, be in that part, to live it and have it be within you. I think that's great. Congratulations to you, Katie. And Allie is, again, in the ensemble doing lots of different things. And you're going to be working with the kids that come on stage from the elementary schools and so on as well. So that should be fun. Excellent. Katie, good luck. Allie, thank you for being with me today. I'm with Daniel and Elena. And in A Christmas Carol, they are playing specific parts. And let's get to meet them and learn about their parts. We have Daniel, and you are a junior? I am a junior, yes. And you've been in Drama Club how long? I've been in it for two years. I joined sophomore year. And last year, was it Narnia last year? Yeah, last year was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I played uh, the part of Tumnus last year. Ah, that's it. Because I remember we were together on camera, and this year you're playing? I am playing Bob Cratchit, the father of Tiny Tim. Father of Tiny Tim, right, and he works along with Scrooge in the office. Yeah, I'm sort of his little minion that gets underpaid. Correct. I'm going to come back to you in a second. Elena, come on in a little bit. And Elena, you are playing several things here. Your main part is? Um, Belle, um, which is Scrooge's um, fiance from when they were younger, and I left him when his main um, obsession in life became money instead of love. Wow, and that's very powerful as the play goes on when the ghost of Christmas past catches up with him and shows him what he missed by not staying with you because you had a true love for each other, but he chose something else. Absolutely. Wow. And what's the other part that you play? Um, I also play First Woman, which is toward the, um, the future part of the play is I'm like an older woman who kind of steals Scrooge's, um, like his things after he dies because nobody's around to take them. So I'm poor, I need something, so I decide to steal them. All his possessions did go. Yep. Didn't do him much good, right? Daniel, come on in here, Daniel. Now, you are Bob Cratchit. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> how, do you, how do you get into your part? Just bring it into your heart and be Bob Cratchit. I sort of imagine myself around that time period, um, like what it would be like to be in that person's position. Because in the play, you get some background on the character and what he's supposed to be by reading through the script, reading through the lines, reading through his interactions. So you kind of get to know his character. So you just have to adopt that persona and sort of fit yourself into his situation. And I think that I'm pretty good at doing that. Um, and I'm able to adopt the persona of a lower middle class father with a struggling child. Right, and he's struggling to make a buck because Scrooge oh, yeah. will not pay him. No, he won't pay him enough. He gets paid like 15 shillings a week, as it says in the play. Uh, it's not really a spoiler, so I, I can say it. Right. Um, and he has to support a very large family, uh, one of which his children is... It requires a little more attention than others. Right. So him getting underpaid and him working the hours that he does sort of affects his life personally. Um, yeah, it sort of affects his life personally right. and his financial situation and how he's able to provide for his family. It's wonderful how you can get the emotionality of the part. I could feel it already, just the way you're, just the way you're speaking about it. Listen, I'm going to give you 10 shillings more a week. That's it, just for starters. <laughs> No problem. I don't have it with me because I didn't get my allowance. But no, that's all right. I only get an allowance when I'm good. But that's a story for another show. Okay, now, Bob Cratchit had to work his way into the part. How do you get to be Belle, loving Scrooge as a younger person? So um, I'm very lucky to have a great um, cast partner as uh, Luke Manicus. He's He plays younger Scrooge. Oh. And I believe that... Us as actors, we have great chemistry, we work well together, and I think that has a big factor in really like, diving into my character and 
just putting myself in her situation and performing it as best as I can. How wonderful. And you too get into it and I can already see the passion and working along with your partner at that point because you have to deal with Scrooge in that scene or that scenario uh, together because that's what it's all about, you and younger Scrooge. Wow. What wonderful actors and actresses right here in our own Jackson Liberty High School Drama Club. It's wonderful. Come and see it. You've got Thursday night, November 15th, Friday evening, November 16th, and Saturday, November 17th. Two shows, right? Yep. 1.30 and? 6.30. Right. When is it on Saturday? 1.30 and, and 6.30. And on Thursday night, it is? 6.30. And on Friday night together, 7 p.m. Come to it. You're right here in Jackson. Don't travel to Broadway. It's right here. You can walk. You can take your child's tricycle. Whatever you want. Come right to Jackson Liberty High School. Parking is free. It's wonderful. You're right here. I think it's great. Thank you for being with me today. Elena, Bell, and Daniel, Bob. Cratchit. Bob Cratchit. Can't wait to see you. It's great. Director Nicole Mathias, welcome. Hi, Barry. How are you? Thank you. I am fine, and I hope you are well. I'm doing all right. We're getting ready, starting the holiday season early this year. Yeah. Is that your stomach or mine that I just hear? I think it's mine. I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, listen, we have to feed you. This can't happen. You need your energy for this. You are director of A Christmas Carol. You are the advisor for the drama club. You're a teacher here as well. By the way, what classes are you offering in your discipline as a teacher here at JLHS? Well, I'm teaching English 2 Honors this year, Ooh, um, which oh, I'm, I'm generally an English 2 specialist, English 2 Honors. Um, and then I have the Jackson Arts Academy Theater Strand classes for the Liberty High School. So any speech, wow. drama, theater performing, production arts, um, technical theater, voice and, and speech. Sure. Wow, that's you? Yeah, that's me. That's Nicole. Miss Matthias is incredible. Every year she puts on her plays. They're phenomenal. And with, no, they really are. I'm not just saying it because we're on camera, because I really believe it. I've been with you for years now, watching and seeing the plays and interviewing you and all the wonderful students who are involved. With A Christmas Carol. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the challenges that you may have had to overcome to really get this put together now? Well, primarily, I have a lot of athletes involved, including our Jacob Marley is um, a senior. He's new. It's his debut performance. He's fantastic. Wow. Wow. Um, but he's also a star cross-country athlete. So, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> we, we had yeah. cross-country and um, soccer and we had just athletes all over. So rehearsing with them and excuses and getting them together was tricky, but we managed. Um, the second thing I would think was a major challenge is the schedule. We were in good shape, and now it's like half days, teachers' convention, oh. uh, conferences. Oh, so the right. school's closed. And I'm like, uh, you know, so Yo, that's right. a problem. And then we come back from what is essentially a long weekend, and we're in tech week. So, right. well, so it gets a little scary. Um, my mother has really officially retired from costuming for me. So I have Juliana Cofinas and her phenomenal group of, of costume crew kids right. um, just making it happen in there, which I'm so proud. I can't wait to see that. Um, so I guess I've just really, um, I've had to let the kids do a lot more this time and it's happening. So it's kind of exciting, but a little bit, you know, I don't have that control that I always have. So I'm, I'm anxious. But you know what? It comes together. It does. And why does it come together? Because it's magic. Out, well, it is magic. It's magic. It is magic. No, but the magic. See nothing. <laughs> but the magic comes from the students because you are their director. And you provide them with all of the enthusiasm and getting behind them, and they know that you care, I do. and you expect good things too. 
Oh, I, I do have high expectations. As a matter right. of fact, I'm going to segue here. Lauren Robinson. All right, Lauren Robinson. Could you Robinson. come say a little bit about my expectations? Lauren. Where's just, Lauren? Lauren um, come on in I'm here, just Lauren. I'm going to do a little promo here. No, that's good. Our Lauren here. All right, is, go, ahead. Um, go ahead. Lauren Robinson of right. the famous Robinson clan. She's the third daughter of Lily and Ray to come through. And her sister played the role that she has the first time we did it in this building in 2009. Wait a minute. Tradition from a different place. <laughs> well, there went Miss Matthias. Thank you, Nicole Matthias. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Nine, years later, Nine years later. And you're the third Robinson that came through. Yeah. And your first name again is? Lauren. Lauren, that's right. Lauren. Mm -hmm. And wow, how does that feel to carry on tradition? It feels great. Uh, I don't know if uh, I gotta. Those are expectations that I have to face right now with my family, of course. Uh, well, you know, yeah. gotta gotta work up that Miss Cratchit. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You're gonna do it, and you are doing it. Of course, of course. And getting into that part, where, where, how do you manage your time with everything that's going on? <laughs> how do you do that? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I got college auditions. I'm going for this. For as my career, I'm, I'm my oh. intended major is musical theater, so Wonderful. I don't really know how I'm doing all of it, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Well, isn't it a true saying that when you have something that needs to get done, mm -hmm. go to the busiest person you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> go to the busiest person you know. Mm -hmm. It's true. I've heard that for so many years, but you know, it seems that that is basically it is the truth. It's wonderful, Lauren. Mm -hmm. So you're you're in the play. You're doing your academics. You're auditioning for college and everything right now. Yep. Does that mean you're running off to the city and all that kind I, of uh, stuff? All my schools are in the city that I've applied to. Mm -hmm. Wow. Give me the name of even one or two of them. Uh, NYU, Juilliard, Pace. Wow. Wow. Well, we wish you the best. And again, you're playing who in the play? Miss Cratchit. Oh, absolutely. Bob's, wait a minute, Bob's wife. Bob's wife. Mm -hmm. Right, because we interviewed Daniel, yes. who is playing Bob Cratchit. Yep, my husband, my husband, Daniel. Right. Well, Bob, right. not Daniel. And you must be a good cook, too, because you took that beautiful Christmas goose and made it for Christmas and then invited everyone to join you. I'm a pretty good cook. I'm a pretty good cook. There you go. Uh-huh, yes. Call me the chef. Besides doing everything else, She's cooking for Thanksgiving yes. as well, for Christmas, I, I should say. I am. So it's wonderful. That's it. But you know what? This is wonderful. Yes. Thank you for being third well, generation. Thank and thank you for carrying on tradition, tradition of being in the drama play. Yes. Thank you for having me. And Lauren, what, what year are you in? I'm a senior. Wow. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, the best to you. Good luck Thanks. with your New York, Thanks. with your so New York much. schools. Hopefully. Lauren Robinson. This is Cratchit <laughs> in the play. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you. I know that Halloween has lots of ghosts running around the streets. And they go trick-or-treat, and sometimes I get frightened by them, and sometimes they're kind of funny. But we have two ghosts right now that are truly an integral, integral part of our Liberty High School Drama Club fall play a christmas carol we have the ghost of christmas past and the ghost of christmas present right here and actually right now i'm not too frightened but you never know so christmas past your name is in real life emily varelli emily yes. emily welcome and you are christmas past yes. And are you enjoying that particular part? I am. I think it's a lot of fun. It's really good and fresh. <laughs> well, and it's interesting that you're going to be with young Scrooge yes. and Belle yes. because they were a couple when Scrooge was young. And you have to play into that role, making Scrooge understand how much he lost by yes. choosing money instead of love. Yes. How do you feel about doing that? How do you provide the, you know, the essence for that? I think it's a really good transition between like 
how he is at first when the few scenes before that it's um, all happy and stuff and then it's just a transition it goes right to like him his downfall and everything and it just shows like where he really messed up right so the play so that the play itself drags you in chronologically and and through the play itself and the writing the good writing of the play yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, now did it take you come just a little closer did it I mean, this is a secret between us. No one knows that they, you know, the audience, just be careful. Are you listening? How did you get yourself into this? Um, you mean like into the role? Yeah. How um, did you work your way emotionally into it? Emotionally. I mean, I just kind of looked at all the lines. I've like figured out how I wanted to portray and I just went and did it. I don't know. It just and it came out. It came. Yeah. She just comes out. And is this your first year with Drama Club? No, this is my third year. I'm a junior. Um, wow. I've been in the musical my freshman year. I was in both the fall show and the musical last year, my sophomore year. Excellent. What a wonderful tradition you're bringing to your yourself as being a part of this Drama Club. It's wonderful. Well, thank you, Emily, for sharing your views about that. And by the way, just before I, I come over to Christmas, pre I mean to the ghost of Christmas present, you understand, it was interesting, as we've been interviewing through the show, you can join the drama club, whether you're a freshman, or whether you're a senior, you've never performed before, you could just join because you have a, a desire to be a part of a great team. And by the way, do we know how many students are involved, anybody? Um, I'm not sure, I think it's around, I want to say just going to estimate 30 in cast and like a lot of crew I think it's like 60 over 60 people in crew this year between wow. um, building and costumes and all that stuff great yeah wow you're with a group 60 people and more maybe close to 100 with these productions and I know with the spring musical oh, it's yeah. loads of people so you know what a way to make friends a way to really Bring out your own acting ability or your desire to be in front of the lights and even behind the lights. As you know, we need so many people yeah, back there. Definitely. Gosh, I heard what we were doing or uh, some of the show today. We've got the hammers going and the yes. drills, right? Yes, always, always. <laughs> so they're creating, and they are certainly an integral part of the entire performance uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Um, without them, we wouldn't have any of it, so... You got it. And I love speaking to the costume people as well. Yeah. That was really cool. And how they actually fit everything to you, make yeah. sure it fits, and do it themselves. They, they are doing the work right here in the high school to get it ready. It's wonderful. What talent we have in front of the lights and behind the lights. Come and join. The drama club is incredible. Yeah. Now, you are, you are the ghost of Christmas present, yes. and you are what's your real live name? Mason Sylvan. Mason? Yes. Okay, Mason. And what year are you in in school? I'm a junior also. And have you been in plays before? Yeah, I've done all the shows since freshman year I've been here, so. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> wow, so you guys, you guys are pros already. Yeah. Both of you are juniors, Emily and Mason. Wow, so tell me about your part, Christmas present, the ghost of yeah. Christmas present. Um, I um, take Scrooge from past um, in Act 2, and kind of show him what he's missing out on and how he's affected the people's lives around him. He gets to see that and realize the effect he's having on those people and how he can change that if he was to change his ways from like them then on, how he could help them instead of like hurting them, you know. So he's already seen the ghost of Christmas past, Emily, and he realizes some of the loss he had, the terrible loss by choosing money instead of love and family and all the lovely things that go with having, you know, a family and someone to be with you as a lifelong partner. Now, again, you put him in perspective right now yeah. about what he can do. Yeah, yeah, like what's the people around him, like his, um, his employee and his family and his nephew, and they all, um, they try and get him to get in the spirit, but he just won't listen. So I bring him to see really what he's missing so that he can change from going forth, you know. Terrific. What a transitional part 
that is as well, because then you would be sending him over to Christmas future, yeah. Mm -hmm. The ghost of Christmas future. Yes. Yeah. And, and who plays that, by the way? That's Riley Fonholtz. Okay, because we haven't interviewed her, but yeah, maybe yeah. maybe we'll get... Oh, him. Yes. Sorry, Riley. <laughs> Riley, sorry. But we haven't had a chance to interview the ghost of Christmas future. Yeah. But your parts are so pivotal in the play. It's just wonderful. And what advice do you have to anyone that would like to, uh, to, like to be part of... Come on in just a little closer for a second. What advice do you give to a student that is wanting to join in the productions? Um, I would just say just come out, get comfortable with it. If you're a little nervous, we are a very welcoming group here. It's always a lot of fun. We don't discriminate against anything. Any, yeah. Super. Just come out and be yourself and see what you can do. Yeah, definitely. Just do it. Just, you know, try all it right. out. See if you like it. Good. It's all a lot of fun. So there's, and there's something for everyone. So, you know. Yeah. And those three words are perfect. So shall we do those three words together? Just do it. Sure. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. You want to join the club? Just, Just do, do it. it. That was good. I miscounted, but yeah, that's, that's all right. I never could count. <laughs> One, two, seven. I, yeah. I never have that quite right. Let's do it one more time. One, okay. two, three. Just, Just do, do it. it. Okay, we are with the set crew. Are you the set crew? Yeah. Yes. You build, right? It wasn't there a children's thing like Tommy the Builder or something? Bob the Builder. Bob the <laughs> Shows you how old I am. I, I have to go back to my grandchildren now to get, get up to date. Bob the Builder. Yeah. Yes. We have Sean the Builder. Sean, Sean, Sean the Builder. Sean the Builder. Sean the builder. Well, first of all, when I, I must say, Sean, I'm going to just run over here. I love this. All through the show today, I've been doing interviews. May I sit on this? Yeah. Is that right? I have been doing interviews, and all I hear in the background are... Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to This is Jackson. Hi. I'd like to talk to somebody. I thought I was at the dentist's office. Is your goal in life, by the way, and I'm, gonna, I'm serious about this, do you want to be a dentist? No. Okay, on our next show, we're going to... Oh, that was very good. You don't want to be a dentist. Do you want to be a, a, a Bob the Builder? Possibly. That's good. I want to thank your compatriot over here for telling me it was Bob because I thought it was Tom. That's Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. Right. We don't have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we have somebody. Who are you? Uh, my name is Patty Quietak. Hi, Patty, and welcome to the set crew. And when you came to be a part of the drama club, uh, was it your desire to be part of building? Um, in middle school, it wasn't. I did cast all throughout middle school, but then when I came to high school for the fall shows, I decided I wanted to do something different. So for the past four years, for each fall show for the play, I do crew. How wonderful. Well, you know what? It certainly gives you a different perspective in theater yeah. because you're back here behind the lights while everyone who is involved in front of the lights are doing their specific thing. And you said you were cast for four years, or for uh, middle school, three years in middle school. So it really, it really is wonderful. Now you've got kind of both sides of the theater areas. Yep. How wonderful. And you're a senior. Yep. What are you planning for next year? Uh, I'm planning on going to college and hopefully majoring in chemistry. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chemistry was never my strong suit, but you love all that stuff and the chemicals and, and all that. Yeah. Drama club for me is just the fun thing on the side. Isn't that wonderful? Take advice. You know what? You want something a little different as well. Get away from some of the academia areas that we all are involved with in high school, which you have to be. You can do something that's fun. Very good. What is that? You say she drinks? No, she what? Mixes paint. Oh, she mixes paints. Yeah. I thought you were being a mixologist. I don't know. You do. Uh, I mean, mixologist. a mixologist. Oh, well, that's scientific too. Yes. See, that's part of science. Yep. Mixing so, paints. Along with paint mixing, uh, I also work with Virali and Brielle. We're all the senior stage managers for this show. Wonderful. And we're the ones who are 
basically in charge of everyone and everything going on behind the scenes. And you have to make sure that things are moving. I'm gonna come, let me come past you now, just a teeny bit. Stay right there. And you are? Uh, Brielle Roche. And, and Brielle, you are a part of the set crew. And what are some of your responsibilities? Um, well, we design the sets and we like decide what needs to be painted and where it needs to go on the stage and like when it needs to be moved and all of that stuff. Are you guys also involved, and I'm going to keep moving along, but are you guys also involved with when you have set changes? Are you the guys that move everything? Yes. Yes. Oh, so, oh, boy, you guys are incredible. <laughs> you really are incredible. And you know what? I'm going to do what, what well, I, I'm going to have to stay front for a moment. <laughs> I was going to go behind you because we had Mr. Noble recommended that, and I should have taken that lead on that. And you are? Virali Patel. And Virali, how many years have you been involved with drama? I've also been involved for four years. Oh, so you are the you are the senior the senior crew of the set working and, and moving them and getting everything in place during each scene and whatever. Yes, we are. We're the senior stage managers. Okay. So you all basically have the same responsibilities yeah. as seniors. So let me ask you both, what are you gonna be doing next year? Any ideas? Um, well, I want to go to college for psychology, and I'll, if, I don't know, I'll probably do, like, drama and theater, but, like, stage crew not be, obviously, acting in college, but, like, I don't know. I have to see if I have time. <laughs> well, most of the college, well, I should say every college or university has a theater um, group, you know, so I'm sure you could get involved if you have that time to be able to, you know, fit it into your schedule. And what is your, are your plans also for next year? I also hope to major in chemistry and go on the pre-med track. Oh, pre-med. How wonderful. Well, that, you are very, what, this senior group here, they are very ambitious. How one, no, really. Uh, you know, it's wonderful that you can do all of the difficult academics that you are involved with and still have time for the plays and to have fun and enjoy the other type of responsibilities that do not have to do with chemistry, yeah. chemistry, chemistry, biology. No, just chemistry. Just chemistry. I'm, yeah. Anybody here for biology? No, I'm here psychology. Oh, you're psychology. Yeah. Biology, psychology. No, no, we don't have biology. No, chemistry, no. chemistry, psychology. Um, chemistry and probably biology too. Oh, a little biology. Okay, yeah. just a little bit. Touch. Yeah. Both. You know what? I wish you so much good luck with that. That's Thank terrific. You. Thank you. So you guys are bosses. Yeah. Yes. Can you give me give me the point? You ready? I want you to come out and give me the point. Like you need to tell those people over there what to do. Go ahead. Let me see that point. Give them the pointer. <laughs> Go ahead. And say what you're going to no, say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell somebody Go ahead. what they have boss. to do. Move Go it. Ahead. Go ahead. Come on, guys. Well, yeah, we don't have a point, but when we're backstage, when yeah. we're about to move things in between scenes, yeah. uh, right before the scene is ending, the main person in charge will lift their hand up. Ah, and that's what I mean. I don't know that. So that oh. means get your items ready, get ready for a scene change to take what's on the stage off and bring out new things. Okay, and when it's time, what do you do? Um, the hand well, doesn't stay up. You just, yeah, just, you just kind of go. Oh, <laughs> this. Oh, that's like they do with me when they want me to end the scene. They go like this. And if I don't end it, they go. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what, then you're, oh, we're, we're brothers in, in theater here. Or brothers and sisters of theater. How wonderful. Remember, a Christmas show, November 15th, 16th, 17th, right here, Jackson Liberty High School, a Christmas carol. How wonderful. I'm coming over there, guys. Coming over to my dentist. I uh, could you take care of the mole over here, Sean? Okay. Now we're with Sean, and we're we're that's Sean over there, and you are Paige Shields. Paige, I know Paige. Wait a minute. I met Paige just recently. You did. Hi, Paige. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. You haven't changed much since I saw you last week. Not much. That's Paige. Next to Sean. And you are? I'm Catherine Sadowski. Hi, Catherine. Hi. And you three explain what you are involved with, with being part of the set crew. So I'm in charge of all the props. So everything that's on the set that's not the set pieces or anything that anyone needs, like a glass or a mug, I'm in charge of that. 
There's a lot of stuff. Wait a minute. Yeah. That should be for more than one person. No, it's just me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Boy, you guys give her a lot of responsibility. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah but you, you do have a lot of stuff. Yes. Because those kinds of things can get lost. They can get lost very easily. Yes, and I'm in charge of all of them. <laughs> well, I know that you do your job well. Now, is this, what year are you in in school first? I'm a sophomore. A sophomore, and have you been involved with the plays before? Yes, I did the musical last year. Wonderful. Oh, so you already have some experience. Yes. But were you behind or in front of the lights last year? I was in stage crew. In stage crew? Yeah. You know, it, um, I remember meeting one person in my whole life who was actually working in the theater, in the stage crew on Broadway. And he was, uh, he was a guy like 6'6 six, six or something. He was such a tall fellow. But he made an incredible living. He was telling me about it. I, I forget where I met him, but it was in the city. And he made some life with being a professional stage person. And uh, he, he was thrilled to be involved with his whole adult life with, this, uh, th with the theater. But this is wonderful. So thank you for doing the job you do. Thank you. Wow. And you always have time to do everything else, like be a student, do well, and all that stuff? Yeah. As well? Yeah. Super. And now I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to just bring this over your shoulder, Kate. Okay. Well, hi, Paige. Hello again. Yes, hello again. Now, you're in the set design, or the set area this time. I'm the production stage manager. Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Paige, production stage manager. You know what? It's a great title. <laughs> I love it. That's, now, you don't have to do a salute here like you did with the marching band. <laughs> Not this time. Because... Paige is with the marching band. She's one of the drum majors. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Yes is a good answer. Or laugh, it doesn't matter. A lot of people laugh at me, not with me, but that's good. I'd rather have you laugh with me. And Paige, you have time for, <laughs> for marching band and for this? Yeah, Kat does it too. Oh, you're in the band too? What do you play in the band? I play trumpet. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, excellent. Okay. I didn't realize. I, were you in the room the other day when we did the show? I don't think so. Okay, because I, I, I just didn't remember seeing you. But there were about 100, almost 100 people there, I guess. She's 60, there, yeah. 70 people. She's our section leader. Oh, she's your... Oh! The she's the section leader? For the trumpets, yes. For the trumpets. Okay, congratulations Thank on you. that as well. Thank you. Yeah, that's a lot of responsibility, too. So you love being a production manager. Give me the full title again. Production stage manager. Production stage manager. And what do you do? Uh, during rehearsals, I run things with the cast. I know the script inside and out, where mm -hmm. people enter and exit, where the set goes, and I basically tie everything together. So I connect things with the director, prop mistress, the stage managers, the builders, and the cast. And um, during the actual show, I sit up in the booth and with a headset and tell everybody uh, what else is happening. Now... Let's mention that for a moment. Technology is such a great part of theater today, and that's a perfect lead-in because I, I never have really addressed that during any of my shows when I deal with the musical or the fall play or the dramas, whatever they are. And that is an incredible part of what we do today in theater. So you're back there with a headset. Yes. And you're way in the back of the theater here. Our auditorium in Jackson Liberty is really just gorgeous. Uh, theater facility and you're way in the back with your headset yes and you say things like uh stand by oh wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> i got it and go. all right wait a minute say stand by one more time are you ready for the for the fit okay ready go ahead stand by scene change look at that scene change go go with the wave with the wave the wave do the wave i love it do you do the princess wave or the queen's wave? The queen's wave in England. Is, oh no, you, oh, you do a, oh, you do a, a real wave. Because the queen's wave is very gentle, just the wrist, you know, like Princess Di used to do and Queen Elizabeth. Very gentle, you don't want to waste too much energy. But you create a furor when you say. <laughs> scene change, go. Scene change, go. Paige, you're laughing again. Paige laughs a lot. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. And we have our dentist, our, we have a resident dentist for the play, A Christmas Carol, Sean the Dentist. Yes. 
Or is it Bob the Builder? Sean the Builder. Oh, Sean the Builder. Yeah. Hi, Sean. Hello. What year are you into? I'm a junior. Oh, junior, okay. And you've been involved with the drama club before? Yeah, since eighth grade. Oh, so you even did middle school work. Yeah. Yeah, and they do some great plays in the middle school. I've seen them before. They're wonderful. Yeah. Now, were you behind scenes or in front of the lights? I was uh, doing soundboard up there. Oh, yeah. Are you doing that now, too, besides doing the... I'm sorry. Besides doing the building, you do sound work, too? No, I just build now. Okay, so you're just a builder. Now, during... I'm not just. Believe me, I heard your work, and you were incredible. Uh, the two-fisted builder right here, Sean the Builder. And do you... Um, do you find that you have time to do everything as well? You have a social life. You have academics to get done. You've got to get here for all the rehearsals and the plays and everything. Yeah, there's plenty of time to do everything. So time management skills are good? Yeah. You need it. You do need it. Yeah, wow. I hear you. And during the play, where are you? I'm backstage moving uh, the, pro uh, all the sets and stuff. So you respond to this? Yes. And this? Yeah. And this? <laughs> That's if you don't get the job done. Yeah. No. <laughs> but you always get the job done. Yes. It's wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our team over here. Wow, you guys are really what make it happen. And thank you for doing the work you do. Our set design, what do we call ourselves now? Production, set production, production team. Production team. Yeah. The production team. You guys are wonderful and not being silly at all, but thank you for the work you do. Can't do it without you. Terrific. A Christmas Carol coming up November 15th, 16th, and 17th. Jackson Liberty High School. Be here. Enjoy it. It's going to be fabulous. I am with Scrooge, the main part in A Christmas Carol. And your real name is? Uh, Chris Koshy is my name. And Chris, you are what year here at Jackson Liberty? Uh, I'm a sophomore here. And have you been involved with uh, the drama club before? No, this is actually my first year here, so everything's going well so far. <laughs> Excellent. Wow. Your first, and y now you, what brought, I have to ask you this, what brought you to come and audition for A Christmas Carol? What piqued your interest? I, I'd heard so many good things about the play here, and I really wanted to do it. And then um, my older brother, he told me, Chris, this is my last year. I'm a senior. you got to do it with me. So we jumped in. We, you know, we got on board, and everything's going great. So. And you got it. You got the part. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it is the driving part for the entire story of A Christmas Carol, Scrooge. Now, I'm going to ask you this uh, straightforward are you naturally nasty, or did you have to work at it? <laughs> you know, that's, that's a great question. I'd like to think, and I, I hope to everyone in the play company, they all agree with me, I'm not a nasty guy. Um, sometimes I may look it on that, that off Monday, but I'm not a nasty guy. There is a lot of work, though, that goes into making yourself nasty. Oh. There's a lot of work that um, I, I have a lot to learn from, you know, Ms. Matthias and all the other actors here are so talented. But it is definitely a big task to make yourself that nasty. Well, the play wouldn't be the play if you weren't really, really pretty nasty guy. So how do you, Chris, the good guy, Chris, here you're a sophomore, you're a good student, you work hard, you're a good, you know, son in your family, a good member of your whole family, and here you've got to be really nasty. How do you do that? Well, the way I view it is, at the end of the play, there's that amazing moment, and this might be a spoiler to some of you, where Scrooge turns around. He's no longer a miser. And so that's the moment that I look forward to. And that gives me, you know, the emotion, the energy to pull it all in and be nasty. Because I know that by the end, I'm going to turn my ways around, and I'll be a good guy. So you can really be the nastiest person, because you know there's going to be a redemption somewhere. Yeah. You can always pull it out if you know you're going to make it back out on top. So <laughs> that's the way I view it. Well... I love when you finally run around and buy the goose and give it to Bob Cratchit for his family. That's the best part. I mean, it's, it's that moment where Scrooge shows that he's changed. And now not only is he changed, he's willing to act on it, you know? There's a poor man, and he goes, well, I've got money. He needs money. It's, it's Christmas Day, you know? That's the most beautiful moment of the entire play to me. It's really Scrooge wow. right there. And it took you a lot of time to get into learning all your part your parts your lines uh, 
How did you accomplish learning that? Because you are the main person. It was a lot of hard work, but I got to say, a lot of it wasn't my own. It was the people around me. Everyone here has been so welcoming. This is my first time, and they've all come together to help me. If I mess up, they pick up my slack. Everyone is there together to back me as Scrooge. We're all Scrooge together in this play, because it's not the play without Scrooge, and the play is everyone. And they want it to be successful, as successful as you want it to be. Right, yes, everyone wants it to succeed, and so they've all come to my aid, and it's, it's a really nice thing to, to feel that I'm part of, I'm one of them, you know? Wow. So by just becoming a member, and I mentioned this on the show as well, when you become a member of an organization such, such as the Drama Club here at Jackson Liberty High School, you have instant friends, a large group that enjoy your company, you enjoy their company, you get to meet a lot of different people with uh, you know, different interests like we were talking about people who are going into the sciences and, and other areas as well. I feel like it's, it's one of the parts that makes drama drama is that anyone can come together and be something they're not in the real world. So we've, we've got scientists here, people who want to be builders, people like me. I don't know what I'm doing, but I didn't think it was play. And then all of a sudden, we all come together, and we're not them anymore. We're Bob Cratchit. We're Scrooge, Jacob Marley. All of a sudden, we're these wonderful, fantastic characters in harmony, and that's Christmas Carol, and it's, it's beautiful, honestly. Wow. You are perfect for the part. And j just as yourself, Chris, you are perfect to be Scrooge for the part. This is wonderful. Congratulations to you on earning that part and for doing all that you are doing to make a Christmas carol really be a Christmas carol. Can't be, a, can't be that play without Scrooge. Can you give me even one or two lines from early Scrooge when he's not such a nice guy? He's a nice guy? Well, I can give you a bah humbug if you really want. Oh, oh. here we go. Bah humbug, take one. Bah humbug. Whoa, blew the mic right out of my hand. That was amazing. Oh, you've got to be here, folks. You have to be here. Jackson Liberty High School. Drama Club's production of A Christmas Carol coming up. Give me a bah humbug, please. Bah humbug. Oh, oh. November 15th at 6.30 at night. Thursday night. Friday, 7 o'clock at night. November 16th. And November 17th on Saturday we have two shows. When are they? When are they? 1.30. 1.30. And 6. I believe so. I hope so. Well, I know it's 1.30. Yeah, you'd think that Scrooge would know this. It's a good thing that everyone's here to let me know when. Well, no, I'm glad you're going to be here. You, oh, Scrooge will be here for every one of the performances. And you know what? You've been watching Jackson, our show, This is Jackson, on Jackson TV, JTV. So this is Jackson, and we will finish together with a bah humbug. We will tell you this. If you don't come to the play, my viewing, viewing audience, we are coming to your house to give them a direct, real, live Bah Humbug. Are you ready? Hope to see you there, November 15, 16, and 17. And it's right here in Jackson. Remember, Broadway at your doorstep. You don't have to travel to New York. You don't have to take the train, the bus, the subway, nothing. Get a walk if you want. I don't care. We'll pick you up if we have to. Come and see A Christmas Carol Jackson Liberty High School Drama Club production. And if not, we will finish with a, you ready? Here we go. Bah, bah humbug. Oh.